Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and you join me here in the missile test area of From the Depths. Um, if you haven't been to this area, it is a new part of the designer. As an option when you start up, you can select to go into the um, Deepwater Guards testing area. I think it's Deepwater Guards. Anyway, uh, uh, missile test area. Now, um, what there is here immediately is you've got this nice little platform which has been created with lots of various different types of missiles everything from harpoon style missiles um, uh, torpedo style uh, you know what uh, nice hedgehog design do like that hedgehog design uh, multiple batteries and air-to-air -air missiles so you can have a have a wander around have a look at the plaque each one's got a nice plaque which describes uh, the type of uh, units so you can have a quick check um, I'm currently just in the Sun Lounge area, getting a slight little uh, um, workout, but uh, we will uh, get a nice, nice tan. Yeah. Um, but we're going to go and test something else rather than just go through this area, but um, I do advise people go and have a look at this and use it. There's lots of targets, floating targets around to aim at. Um, it's a good little um, test area, flying targets as well as um, ground targets and you can experiment you can change a few things as well you could you could have a go at different changing some of the missiles see how it uh, has an effect and it's all pre-built for you um, everything from very large um, array, missile arrays which i think are very nice to uh, smaller anti-air batteries yeah anyway we will go to our little test area so our testing today is based upon um, uh, a, we, we're going to be looking at warheads primarily so this is um, my own little test rig where I have got um, a number of, of missile arrays set up and this nice little wall here so we're looking at a, a three thousand, nice three, even 3000 blocks so it's easy to work out and what I have created initially is the first uh, sections of this is it, most of the wall is a six block wall with a few bits sort of thicker for various reasons we've got wooden blocks on the front then we have alloy blocks then metal blocks then it goes into a, sec, uh, a second level of metal uh, wooden beams alloy beams metal beams so we did contest how much damage we get initially and how penetrating uh, different missile systems are so let's go through so we can look at what is good what why have different where warheads how to set them up and how basically to uh, get the most out of, you, out of your missiles so uh, this is the first set of set of missiles so first of all we're going to look at fragmentation missiles as you can see it is a bit this is this has had some good testing up here so we've had a fair bit of uh, uh, work so it's a bit scorched um, but uh, that's fine, It'll, we, we will work it out as we go along. So, uh, the first set of missiles is just looking at a standard fragmentation warhead. There's no, all of these uh, missiles have no uh, targeting, so they are just a dumb fire missile, just to ensure that they go for the target. And also the um, w uh, arming delay is at point two. So, your standard fragmentation warhead. As you can see, that it, the, the missiles go everywhere, i.e. the fragments go everywhere, and it does a good toll of damage on your front level, and it is penetrating through to the metal block. So it, it does a good all-round, in that 180 sort of area, good 20 blocks of damage for a single fragmentation. That's set at 180 um, degrees. Now, just repair those, ready for the second missile. So it's a good, reasonable, it does penetration, and it does a reasonable amount of damage. Right, the second one, we didn't now focus the fragments on the second block to be a 90 um, cone angle. So that means they should be facing only within the, the closer 90 degrees of the um, target. So the second missile, excellent good we can see it did uh, again reasonable penetration through to the metal block um, looking at it 
roughly the same, slightly less damage. Um, because of against metal, it, um, it just can't penetrate the metal with that number of fragments or lack of fragments going through. But there's more damage in the centre. The, the damage did not spread out as far, it's more isolated. So there was more, actually more alloy blocks uh, destroyed in that one, I believe. So we'll just repair that one as well. So against uh, focusing the fire gives you a slightly better penetration but less overall damage if they've got um, against wooden targets, you know, but much better against your alloy. Still having problems against metal. So the third one is a 20 degree. So the fragmentation, that, that uh, delay, the uh, cone is now 20. So if we fire this one. You can see all oh, that fire was all nicely. You can see how isolated it is compared to the others. There's very little surface damage. So we only did nine blocks of damage, whereas the others are doing 20. But we have gone through the metal blocks and in this case, even through the wooden beams right back to the alloy beams on this. So it's a, definitely a good penetration penetrating but it just did less overall damage so you can sometimes on a on smaller ships over penetrate uh, with this you sometimes want a, a wider cone on smaller ships just to do that maximum amount of damage on the um, a small amount of blocks that are involved in a um, smaller ship so it, but it has a, a benefit now the the final one number four is a is the old is a as penetrating as I can go. This is basically an armor piercing shell. It's got a one degree um, fragmentation, which you know is pretty damn low. So let's just see what we can do with that. And we still get the explosion. You can see the damage from that there. It's only gone one block through here, but it's gone through relatively far. We can see there's even there is damage to the metal block behind even you can see that's that that may have been from previous but uh the alloy block here is also damaged yep we've gone all the way through to the metal beam in here so and that's starting to take damage that's a good penetrator but it's all on a single block it's one single block here so great for getting through but not great for doing overall damage the actual overall damage is only five blocks because it's gone straight through the center that shows that it can penetrate quite nicely so um yeah you've got to choose depending on what your target's going to be right if we go on to the next set so that's fragmentation fragmentations can have this uh, variable setting of where they are going to attack uh, or sorry how you want the damage to be applied um, next we're going to look at some explosive warheads which were slightly different uh, so again it's a very similar design so first of all we'll just go with the single um, explosive um, charge so a single charge nice big boom and you can see there's a lot of service damage here over a wide area compared to the fragmentation stuff and it's done a good 14 blocks of damage on that that there and um, yeah that's that's about an average amount on there but it has not penetrated very far we've got damage to the alloy blocks but not very much at all now there is some weirdnesses with um, that has to be taken into account with explosives um, don't know if it's the game etc but um, compared to fragments next is a pro the, the explosives basically explode it seems like at the center of the missile um, no matter where you put the explosive warhead so now by I've, this time I've put a proximity fuse in, which has a five meter. Uh, so the, it'll explode just at the five meter point. So if we go to number two here, and you can see that the explosion was quite far back on that point. Now the actual damage, let's see if there was a good hit. Now it's 10 blocks of damage. So it's, it's a quite very wide area again. Let's just uh, try that one more time, just to see if that's an average, because I think that's a little low for it. Um, if there is a certain number of random number generation on this. That looks, that looks about um, more standard. Yeah, that was an eight blocks damage. So um, the standoff there, it's still now focusing it, but it seems to be 
basically, um, what shall we say, further away. Um, the number, that number of damage, about 10 blocks of damage was what I was getting earlier, seems to be about right. Now, the, the proximity does focus it closer to where the point of the um, uh, missile is. Now, to explain that, to show that a little bit further, here we've got a missile with an explosive warhead at the back. So this is an eight-block missile, explosive warhead right at the back, and nothing in front of it. So, if I now fire that, so that's number three, you can see the explosive was back here, and we've actually not done any damage. So we'll try that one again once it reloads. It takes a little while to reload on this one, just to show that isn't a, a change. Dom, 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 dom. Okay, there we go. So explosive, it's all the way back here, and no damage. So the explosion is happening either at the centre of this long missile, um, and it's far enough away, four blocks away, that there is no damage applied on this um, from this the warhead. So now we put a proximity fuse in, which is done. We're going to set this actually down to let's just say it's only one meter away from the front. So we're going to actually just set this to, to a one meter, uh, one point five. It's just to make it so it's just in front of the missile. So the uh, it should, just as the front of the missile hits, it will uh, penetrate. We'll try it in two ways, just as a as a thing. We'll make sure that everything's repaired. Yep, we have 3,000 blocks. Yep. Okay, so now we fire. Oops, I was a little close. But you, now you can see that warhead has actually exploded on the target this time. And we've got a good, that's actually a good 17 points of damage. Um, okay, let's just do that one more time, just to show that in operation again. You can see there's quite a wide range of damage there. And it seems to, like, it moves the explosion, although not graphically, to the front of the missile. So where the missile actually impacts. So we'll try that one more time, just to... And again, that's uh, 11 points of damage, um, so that's not too bad. So it's moving similar to the first one, even though the warhead is at the back. So you can see that when you, if you employ explosive missiles, unless they're just a simple four point here, you need a proximity. Otherwise, it tends to put that missile uh, damage at the middle of the missile. If we go back to here, I'm just going to go one other change just to, to show a couple of bits. What we'll do is we'll move that warhead there to the front of the missile, explosive warhead. I'm just going to do one change here as well just to make this a standoff at five meters just to show the differences. Okay, so if we go back to our level three, 3,000 blocks, just making sure we're um, not doing something to do. If we fire this, it has moved it to the to the centre, to the front of the missile. So uh, we have got some damage from this number three this time. It's not very much, nine points of damage. But so it, the position of that explosive is important um, for it to make sure that it gets that damage. But to put it too near the rear of the missile, which it makes sense if you think about it, you don't want the missiles near the, the rear. Now, let's just try with the five point. So this is five meters away from a target. Now, this is the key bit. You can see that even though, in theory, the damage is five meters away and the uh, warhead is at the back of the, of the missile, it still did significant damage. Um, now, where this is more key, I think is when you've you've got proximities and you're using it to not just necessarily hit the front of a target um, like we're doing here but where you might be hitting and it's going to the side because it's a flying target etc um, obviously to cover your bases you want the explosives at the front and the proximities and etc all at all at the front but you can't have everything at the front it's just not that them make sense uh, short and tall of it to be on the safe side try to use a proximity with explosive to guarantee on longer missiles to guarantee that explosion happens at the front okay 
Okay, let's go on to the next one. Next one is to combine a little bit each of the explosives. So what we've got here now is, and let's just make sure we're up to 3,000, yep, is an explosive and a fragmentation. So we've got a fragment set at 20 degrees and an explosive. Now the idea here is that the uh, explosive takes the front of the missile off, uh, sorry, the, the surface off, and then the fragments go through. Uh, so it's like an high explosive armor piercing. So whereas if this was explosive, this is armor piercing, this is sort of acting as a high explosive armor piercing. Now you still need to um, allow for a few bits and pieces. Now, the main question is, does it matter which order these two are in? So we're just going to do a little test. First of all, it's, it's fragment explosives. So the fragment is in front of the explosive. So that did 14 points of damage, which is good. And penetration wise, um, did we get penetration? Uh, we got penetration through to the alloy beam. That's not too bad. So it did penetrate reasonably well, and there was also a, a fair bit of damage from that, considering the um, from the explosive. So you had a bit of a combination of both. The the fragments would have penetrated through, and the explosives would have um, done a, a significant amount of damage. So one more time, just to confirm that. Yeah, yes, a good 17 points of damage there, and again through to the alloy block. It looks like it might have taken a little bit of damage. Right, now we're trying it the other way around. So it's an explosive on the front, and then the fragmentation. So what this will test is, does it matter what order the uh, explosives? Because really we want all of those front blocks taken out by the explosives, and then the fragments to penetrate afterwards. Uh, so let's just fire that, see what we get. Now you can see that's a lot more localized explosion on that there. We did 10 blocks of damage but we actually penetrated all the way through. That went all the way through to the metal. So the explosive took out the front part of this and then the penetrator went all the way through. So that was definitely a much more penetrating missile, having the um, uh, explosive in front of it um, was, was better. So that ended up being an, actually a, a slightly more penetrating um, which is great. So we're just trying that one more time just to show that's not a thing. So again, very localized explosion. The explosives did have a, an effect around, but it seems to have been focused backwards. How far did it go this time? Didn't quite penetrate all the way through this time. Uh, there was a slight difference there. Uh, only got through, it still damaged it, but didn't penetrate. I'll try it one more time just to make sure it's not fluking. On my tests, I got a lot of penetrations with this. This penetrated further than uh, the uh, other way around. Yep, and there again, we have a penetration all the way through. Um, I think that is. We saw fragments going through. That seems to be having a good effect. It's one, up to one block away. Um, one minute to a block and some good damage. But the overall damage is slightly less, so... Uh, depends on how you want to do it. Next, we will just try it with that's all repaired, a proximity. So this one here has a proximity fuse. It's at two meters, so it's just in front of the missile. An explosive warhead and then a fragmentation. So we're still going for this good penetration. Um, let's just make sure that's the right one. Uh, sorry, uh, let me just make sure I've picked the right one there. That's a two. And this one is at, oh, that's supposed to be at five. Okay, I got the wrong way around on that one. Fragment explosive, Expl oh no, 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 they are both at two. Okay, sorry, my, my apologies, just making sure I've got it right. So the idea is to ensure that the fragment is, the proximity ensures that the fragment, the explosive shoots on the front. There we go, if we fire that. Nice bit of damage on that. Now, what I think there happened is this is the um, fragment explosive, I think. Ex yeah, fragment explosive. The um, explode the proximity made it impact a little bit better. 
and you can see that's gone all the way through to the metal block. It made it explode on the surface, it did more damage using that. We can see there's a good 18 points of damage on that now. So it just seemed to do more damage exploding on the surface than the previous missile without the proximity. So it's this general explosives like to have a proximity fuse. One more time. Definitely more surface damage there and going the way all the way through to the the block at the back. So yeah, it just does, does on average more damage. Now we'll just check one last thing which is the proximity but this time fragment explosive so the explosive should still fire at the front because of the proximity and the fragment now I, I'm, I testing these were work, worked out about the same the, the proximity just basically puts the, the explosive at the front uh, as best I could work it out so it didn't really matter too much which order you actually put these in again lots of um, surface damage on that that's just uh, have a look 83 good 17 points of damage now I don't see much penetration on that one so we'll try that one more time I would expect of more but lots of surface damage on that okay let's take that off there we go okay so that that time it did penetrate through so you can penetrate penetrate through damage about the same so effectively let me just repair those the proximity move is moving the explosive damage forward so it doesn't matter which order when you've got proximity that you put the explosive or fragments in but if you're not using proximities it does have an effect so that's the that's the advantage or disadvantage of the proximity right next what if you just want to penetrate as far as possible because they're big ships and you really want to get through that um, armor so I've got some special armor here a lot thicker than normal so I put an extra couple of beams on the back now starting at the front what have we got we have a nice three fragmentation warheads now the other question is does it matter which order so we've got a nice one on the front one degree cone 20 degree cone 45 so we've got a, a very a varied cone here effect let's have a look see how far we go okay that's gone through to the second beam that's the second beam that's um uh, basically damaged there so done the alloy beam and it's gone through to the metal and actually into the next one let's uh, just repair that I'll just try that one more time now I must admit that that's further than I had pre seen on average but we'll try it one more time oops I think I left that on repairing oh no 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 we, we are okay so yes on this one you can see it did the alloy beam but did not do the metal and that was most of my shots were like that uh, does a fair bit of damage though does a good damage and reasonable penetration so in this particular mode it penetrated a bit but not as far as I would like so let's just repair that second missile with the river we are now basically setting them all to the same cone so they're all going to be set to a 30 cone instead of being staggered and let's see what this one does let's see that's number two Now one thing on here is you can see there's a nice big area of damage here, um, especially in the centre etc. Rather than being very localised, it's, it's damaged a wide area. Um, no, it's not gone as far. It's gone as far as the alloy beam on that one there, but uh, no real further. We'll just try that one more time just to get an average between those two. So let it repair up, there we go, and one more time. Yep, actually through to the alloy beam, but a wider cone. So I think this is a, a good damaging missile. It's got it's got reasonable penetration, but uh, good damaging in the center. Um, but not as, as, as penetration as, as the shorter cones. Right, next one. Now we're gonna reverse it. So we've got 45 on the front, 20, 10. The idea behind this is similar to like the um, um, explosive in the getting rid of the, 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 the maybe cheaper surface uh, units 
wood, alloy blocks, etc. And then letting the penetrators go through to the tough stuff in, in the center. So let me fire this. So here, we can see it's fairly localized damage. How far did we go through? Uh, didn't seem to go very through very far on that one, I must admit. That's, uh, it seems to have almost stuck at the surface. So, oh, there we go. There's the penetration one. And it's gone through to the metal beams, uh, the wooden beams. Now, try that one more time, just in case that was a bad uh, random roll. Fair bit of damage. You can see it's going through to the beams. There we go. So that just did, although the idea is there, it's done a fair bit of damage, but it just did not get the penetration through, really, on that one. Did a fair bit of damage, but not as much as would be um, ideal. Okay, let's turn that off. Now the third, fourth one, let's make sure on, on number four, is basically a, a penetrator with a proximity fuse. Now this is what I class as a standoff penetrator. So we're reversing it, so it does a three, then a two, then a one, gets rid of the bits, and it starts at five meters out from the target. So let's just have a look at what this is. So as I could say, a standoff penetrator. Now you can see those fragments went all the way through, and it's gone through the three beams here, alloy beam, wooden beam, metal block, alloy block, wooden block. Straight through the center. So that is a good penetration missile. If you just wanna, and if there was anything inside there, the fragments would have taken that even further through. Actual blocks damaged is pretty poor, considering how, um, um, how many, warheads there are on that. Just try that one more time, just to show. There, again, yep, that's damaged. We've got fragments, taken out those there. Any follow-up missiles would have just gone straight through to the center. But again, actual damage, not that great, everything considered. You know, I'd want a little bit more damage, but ideal if penetration is the most important thing. Excuse me. Something like going against Steel Striders or the Onyx Watch. There would be a good metal penetrating missile um, to try and get to the, the, the key areas inside. Okay, we'll just go for the next one. So if lots of fragments are good, how about lots of explosives? So here we've got, we're using the proximity fuse again because we've already worked out it is better to have a proximity fuse and we've got three explosive warheads. So let's just see what sort of damage we can get out of this. Are we repaired? Yes, we are. So yes, yeah, so you can see that is a significant area of damage. We're getting a good amount of damage, up to 40 blocks of damage in cases I've, uh, I've seen on this. So it does significant, but no penetration. It's all surface damage that first level of, of blocks, but it's a, a very wide area. You can see from where the, the impact point was, how far the damage is in the blocks with the extra explosives. Um, it's very um, impressive. Now, the only change here I did is I put the explosives, just as a test, near the front of the um, uh, warhead and the proximity fuse closer to the back. Um, just to see what difference it makes and difference is minor there was, didn't seem to be much difference as we saw in earlier one with the explosives it seems to just put it at the point of impact you can see the, the size of the explosion there another 40 point uh, damage so as I say didn't seem that much on occasion I seem to get a, a few random uh, times it went to higher but it's just a matter of the proximity localizes that explosion which is good. So, and here we go. Now, with just final changes, we may change the proximity to effectively put it right on the end of the missile. So this should really focus that e explosive on the end of the missile. Just see if there's any difference. You can see that explosion there it was a little higher. It would have gone over this way a little bit further. Still 40, so not much difference. So I would just go with a five block uh, proximity fuse if I was uh, doing this 
final one is what if we forget about the proximity and just have four explosive warheads just go for as big a boom as possible because you know big boom big big boom that's what we want will that be effective it certainly was effective and um, blocks wise about the same as the proximity uh, it's a small missile and it's still having an effect weirdly it seems to be missing out the, um, the, the the impact point block which is a bit weird seems the explosion goes everywhere except where it hit we're trying that one more time just to see if that if we can repeat that so not having the proximity did a fair bit of damage on these short missiles but it's less for less thing oh at this time it did get a little bit of penetration a little bit of penetration um box damage very good for four missiles but it's the same as roughly the same as the, the proximity the advantage the proximity would have obviously with this explosion range is if it was going into a hole created by say some penetrator missiles it would be pushing that explosion i mean if we were to now send the second one in you can see we're now starting to go even further it's hitting on this point and the next level is is getting damaged so you can see the explosions start wiping it away a layer at a time rather than penetrating through they're just taking a layer out at a time of this uh, particular uh, target so you know explosives do work well but not as a single hit as a you know, follow-up missiles gradually wiping out the uh, the armor of any target it is given boom, 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 waiting for that to repair there we go da, da, da. things things I'm seeing as good is explosives can be a little bit variable at times um, but is better overall um, to have a proximity fuse on them than not have a proximity uh, it guarantees their explosion on the target um, fragmentation what i found with them is the order does have an effect and in my testing that uh, depending on what you want to go for if it's damage um, or penetration for penetration it's worth just having them obviously all just low cones but it's sometimes worth having a higher cone at the front so it wipes out the surface and then gets a bigger cone as you get closer to the rear or if you just want ultimate penetration just go for that that one where they're all set to like a ones or twos and just penetrate straight through the rear um, and explosive and uh, overall best results i got generally on average for cost of missile allowing for the fact of distance traveled etc was the um simple um let me just make sure i get to the right one here for penetration was this explosive fragmentation um this was a good penetrator and a good average damage rolls in general uh, the one below it the fragmentation explosive although it seems the same was not getting the penetration it was getting good damage but not not penetration in my uh, tests on average i run these about 10 times each um and got took the average and uh, uh the the uh second one here which is explosive with fragmentation was the average damage was about 10 but it was penetrating through to the, the metal beams whereas the, the one the one below it the other way around the average pen damage was 15 but it wasn't getting through to the beams so um, take that as you wish but this is a good combination missile right next how about how big a boom and penetration can you go so mucked around this is an eight block missile and most of it is warheads so you'd have a little bit and uh, this would be ideal if you just put a, uh, a for laser guided as an example it's not going to be very long range 
but we've actually got five fragmentation warheads and three explosives. Three explosives, I didn't see the value in going a much above three. Four has an effect, but it's diminishing depending on the distance away from the target. Now I've put the explosives at the back and I'm using a proximity fuse, which effectively moves it forward again. So um, that way my fragmentations, now my fragments, we're starting with a heavy penetrator. So that's a load of ones, then it goes a two, a five, and then finally a area damage one. Uh, just to get anything that's, once these are penetrated through, it just shoves some fragments through. Um, and this works quite well. If I go down here, now we've got an extra big section for it to try and penetrate. So let's give this a go. It's a bit slow to say, say the least there. So that has gone through to the, uh, that's how many beams is that? One, two, three, uh, let's see. So that has gone through wood, alloy, metal, wooden beam, alloy beam, metal beam, metal beam, metal beam, metal beam, metal beam, into the, how I many, one, two, uh, let's start again. One, two, three, four, fifth metal beam. That's gone through to in that particular one. That's some serious penetration and, uh, and, and some serious damage. I didn't, I've got to see what the damage on that was, but we'll try that one more time. Guess it's an expensive missile, um, but at close range, it's actually pretty efficient as far as blocks used for the amount of damage it does. We'll find that one more time. It is slow. You can see how slow that is. And that one, it's, that's actually started to damage the very rear missile in that case. And we've done a good 60 points of damage. Oops, let me just get rid of that. We've got significant surface damage. And that would be higher. If I actually made this a higher a wall, I think some of this damage, you can see how far the damage has gone down. If that was continued up, that would be significant damage there. Uh, I mean, if you, if you had this, let's just do a second shot in. The second shot has just gone through and you can see that the fragments would have just basically destroyed anything inside and we're getting even more surface damage here. So it's just, that's another 40, 50 blocks worth of damage from the explosive. So it's a good combination missile and yeah, that's gonna take some ships out. Um, in overall okay end result what is what have I found out running all these tests fragment fr uh, you can design missiles for different purposes you can have high damage missiles which generally is a combination of uh, explosive and a fragment with a wide cone if you want good penetrators, fragmentation is the way. Fragmentation with a low angle is gives you a good um, armor piercing value. And you can go, some, as you saw there, some significant uh, penetration into a, the, the hull of a, an enemy. And at that point, you're starting to hit critical components. More than two or three explosive is not worth it. In general, two, I think, is most probably adequate for most uh, explosives, and a proximity works well with explosives. Overall, uh, fragmentation is more versatile um, in that you can have different, frag different um, uh, cone effects, which basically uh, allows you to decide on a particular missile if you want it to give it a bit of cone for damage and a little bit of um, some lower cone numbers to get penetration you can mix and match it the order of the the uh, warheads does also count I've, I've noticed difference between frag if using explosive and fragment in the different orders in my test so far I've seen differences don't know if it's supposed to work that way but it seemed to come up in the numbers the same with the cone effects um, depending on which order you put the, um, the fragmentation cones, I've seen different effects in general. Um, generally, um, going from higher numbers to lower numbers 
in that order from the front to the rear seems to work. I'm guessing what at the ex point of explosion, and this generally happens when you're using proximity, where at the point of explosion it must do the warheads their impact start points. Don't know if this is true, but it seemed to have an effect. But the effect was m the difference was minor um, in damage, but quite a bit different on penetration. Anyway, hopefully that's useful and people can see how to make sure that you set your frags with a cone um, and how you can mix things together to get a nice small efficient missile or you can go for your big ass damage in one missile and hope they don't have lambs type of missile. Um, so there's a couple of ways you can do it and hopefully this has been just instructional or helpful or and it's been fun to do to be frankly honest. So I will be modifying some of my missiles in the campaign and in my ships after this um, little bit of testing just to make them a little bit more effective. If you've enjoyed this please give us a like. If um, you haven't subscribed please subscribe. It would be beneficial I'm not, uh, to, to get a subscriptions from people. If you um, have any comments or want me to test something else please let me know um, all comments are gratefully appreciated um, as long as they're constructive of course but until next time have fun